So this is Sky Shines Bedlam, post-apocalyptic roguelike, uh, built on the Banner Saga engine. Uh, randomly generated world, uh, features a turn-based combat system that we call the Blitz combat system. <laughs> We're basically taking all the, you know, the old school turn-based games like, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics and, and, uh, and we're trying to speed it up, so it's more of an arcadey version of all of that, and cool. just over the top and ridiculous. Like, and I love your art style here. So this is what is this? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, it's like a post-apocalyptic, but yet advanced uh, weaponry. Oh, it's cool. It's like yeah. a gunslinger right there. It's basically, you know, and even our even our start screens are random. So every time you start the game, it's a different set of characters oh, and nice. a different dozer. Um, we call those dozers those big vehicles. And this kind of goes back to like uh, all of our influences as, as really as, as kids coming yeah. up. It was like, you know, um, uh, basically 2000 AD type comics like Judge Dredd, Mad Max. You know, it was all the stuff that like we just wanted to make something that was like really, nice. like, you know, visually very fun and and just had like, but it had that sort of like danger and excitement of a world to explore, like a post yeah, like that art. What's the thing in the big the background? There's always like one big ass machine. Is that the thing you drive around? Yeah, or? That's, yeah. So it, some people call it the death bus. We call them dozers. Um, so the first thing you do when you start the game is you 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 got to pick which dozer you get, and there's there's a lot of different do dozers that you. Well, can, you start the game yeah. with just one dozer. Right. And then as you play, there's certain things that you can do to unlock the other dozers. Like, so this is the bone shaker. This is the original dozer. And as you play the game and you find certain events where you can unlock the guys, then you'll unlock the Gargantox. Gargantox. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's a mutant dozer. So there's all these different factions. There's basically four factions in the world. And there's, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can just go through here, which is the mutants, the marauders. Through your, your Mad Max. Mad Max. You know, yeah. Ass chaps, and, ass chaps, and, <laughs> and mohawks. Yeah. Booty hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's actually one of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be funny, John. That's gonna be you. <laughs> uh, and cyborgs. Yeah. That's cool. Very like And then the AI. Yeah, the rogue, the rogue AI. AI. So uh, the idea of uh, uh, well, if we go to the probably the next screen, we talk about the world, which is. Uh, this is basically the world of Bedlam. And so you start in this city, this advanced uh, city known as, as Byzantine, which is essentially walled itself off from the, 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 the post-apocalyptic world of Bedlam, which is just the madness outside their door, right? It's kind of like, yeah. it's like a sci-fi movie where they were like, it's just so crazy, we just gotta build a wall. Yeah. And they build a wall and they wall themselves in. And so they have no idea what's going on out there, other than like it's just crazy. Don't go. And then finally, the, there, there's a reason for them to go out there. They discover this uh, this character, the mechanic, who's the basically the driver of of, of, of a Bone Shaker, and they they rebuild this dozer. And he, and he tells them of this place called Aztec City. He's like, you know, there's a whole other like awesome place on the other side <laughs> yeah. of the world. And they're like, and, Fuck, let's go. <laughs> and I know and I know how to get there. And this place is overcrowded. There's crime. There's all this. It's just. It's just not a not. It's a, bedlam. Yeah, it's, it's it's not a good place in Byzantine, and they're like, so a lot of people, you know, it's sort of like we're gonna go to Aztec City, and so it kind of so goes back to like you gotta go through grotesque, it, it, right? Up it's, there. It's, it's <laughs> I love the the names on here. So that creates dynamic storylines as you play it. Yeah, and, we got killed in grotesque. Yeah, <laughs> and all of these are randomly generated every single time. So sometimes it'll be a mutant territory, sometimes it'll be a marauder territory. They've all got different names. They've all got different backstories. They've all got different things that happen. That's what that symbol is under the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like, if you if you look at like Animosity Pass, which is. Uh, which is uh, that's a marauder territory you can kind of see that each one has an icon and so yeah. every time you play the game the layout will be different um and you know so it, it you know the the marauders are very different combat wise and the mutants uh, who are very different from the ai and you know also the cyborgs so cool. they all kind of represent different sort of game board pieces almost with different abilities yeah because you said this was based like on a board game kind of idea with yeah. the turn based and the uh the different factions and yeah, we always thought like if we started with a board game and it was fun, uh, it was fun to play just with like dice and little dudes that it would just translate. Well, you know, like w then then we would kind of have that sort of. So what are these resources here at the top? So you've got your your number of passengers. So those are the people that have decided to join you on the dozer to try and make it down to Aztec City. Yeah. Uh, to the right of that, you've got days, the number of days that you're spending in the world. So the longer that you spend in the world, the more crazy stuff will start happening in mm -hmm. the world. Does the does it eventually end, or does it the, the catch up with you? Have, have you ever heard of FTL? Yeah. Like, eventually, it ends, or 
like they catch up to you and I was like, damn it, man, I just want to explore as well, long as possible. So, so that's like John's got over almost 300 hours in FTL right now. Yeah, I was, a, I was a big fan. Yeah, I've played that game a lot. I beat it once, yeah. but, you know, 100 <laughs> hours into that game. Beat it once, so I'm happy about it. That then, or, yeah, or no, well, we, we wanted to change it. We didn't want to do all the same kind of stuff. So we right. wanted it to be a little bit more natural and a little bit more up to the player on how they want to play it. So as you travel through the world, you can explore more, yes, spend more right. days, spend you more know, days, right. Cause find all the rush. Yeah, right. You're not forced out of a territory, which but, I think but is you do have to manage food or anything like yes, that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you've got cool. crude to keep your dozer running and then you've got meat. So every time that you want to go to a new location, we'll tell you how many days it'll take, how much crude you'll burn, how much meat that you'll need to feed your passengers. Yeah. The more passengers you have, the more meat that you'll need per day and everything. Um, then you have power cells, and power cells are used to fire off giant weapons on the battlefield. So if we just go to our dozer here, uh, these are our, our rooms basically. These are the things that you can use to level up to get better meat efficiency, uh, better nice. power cell efficiency, uh, your, your crew heals faster after they get injured on the battlefield. Uh, engineering, so crude consumption. I like the art. That's a cartoon style. It's yeah. so cool to see all these like weapons and of this death and destruction just <laughs> drawn. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's definitely like you know it goes. It's just sort of. I don't know if it goes back to just like my love of like that like Saturday morning stuff when I was a yeah, kid. I, you know, like like I mean, I used to draw these same guns when I was like eleven years old. <laughs> yeah, like, I would draw these. I would, I would draw these giant vehicles with just like these little shapes with little like pachu pachu and Making then noises. Would you like drawing. to share with the class what you're drawing? <laughs> yeah. I no, would, it was, yeah, yeah, I would. It was like, yeah. His, yeah, his face is melting. They up. would it's call awesome. my parents pretty much on it on a regular basis about how I was decorating the desks. <laughs> Let's see. Let's let's go ahead and spend some. So you can spend power cells to level up your rooms, mm -hmm. and you can also use them to fire off weapons and uh, what we call battlefield equalizers on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. So this dozer comes with a giant nuke. Like you can just take out a whole bunch of guys at once. Uh, for defense, you've got the shield that you only take like one damage whenever mm -hmm. it's activated, and you've got heal. And then as you travel through the world, you'll get more and more, and you can use them all on the battlefield as well. Okay. And so it's all just up to you on how you manage everything. Um, and that symbol in the middle there, is that just our faction? Yes, that's the sigil. And so uh, uh, we're actually going to, like our Kickstarter thing, you can submit your sigil into the game. Oh, cool. So at the beginning of the game, you'll be able to choose what symbol that is. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure we'll have some goofy stuff and some fun stuff. But. Wait, uh, the Kickstarter? I thought this game's already... Are about to come out. It is, yes. We had a Kickstarter back in September. Oh, you're saying it was yeah. one of the rewards for yes. those people? Yes. Okay, what about new people coming in just buying your game right right now? Or from when it releases? I'm not sure. We haven't even really talked about it. That could be a thing. but It could be over time. Initially, it's just going to be the, the backers, but I mean, we could always add more. If, if it's a popular thing, we'll definitely you know add more. Are you the, are the Angry Army? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you want your own sigil? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's getting at, guys. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see how this video goes. Shut up, <laughs> Alright, so, so um, do you manage your crew? Like, what's? Mm. Do you have characters? Ah, there you go. So, so here's all the characters nice. that we got right now. Yeah. And uh, uh, most, of, most of these people are, are people that have worked on the game with us or characters that John has come up with. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, uh, this is our writer right here. Uh, this is our sound guy. Yeah. Uh, this is my stepbrother who's the voice in the trailer. You know, there's, oh, I there's love that show. I can, uh, Terminator show. Yes. This is yeah. our intern. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> and so each of these guys, like, so if we just go to Ambara. Mm -hmm. And so oh, there's a story and everything? All the characters wow. have their own custom story. That's cool. And you can give them nicknames and stuff, too. Give them nicknames. Because that was always like, like... Okay, oh my god, I was about to yeah, say, I was about to be like, dude, I love your lore, it's all cool, but the first thing I do in these types of games you is... Want, change want, it yeah, to change you. Name. This is going to be other joke, this is going to be me, and yeah. so it's a technical nickname. So you, yeah. you compromise, I like that. Yeah, yeah. You can't change their like full name, like Corrupter right, or right, Ra exactly. Geiger, but you can change their nickname. That's a good compromise, I'm willing to take that. <laughs> yeah, because we do think that, like, you know, it's like, it, you know, our, our, uh, our writer who is I mean basically so the the writer is my friend Dave and we grew up together we grew up playing D&D &D, and this is based on a game we created when we were like 11 years old yeah. but it wasn't like just a game we created over weekend we actually played this game it was a tabletop we created and we played it all through high school like oh, for seven so years cool. so we modded D&D &D into like this like futuristic like you know Judge Dredd. We called it Dungeons and Dragons Road Warrior uh, Outer Space type game. That's awesome. And, that, and that, it was like you know so it it, it the, the lore and the fiction and all the characters kind of come from that, so 
that was the thing. We we were like, yeah, name them whatever, but they're you know in the other Joe, yeah, other Joe. <laughs> and so the other thing, so again, you know, a lot of this is all up to the player how they right. want to play the game. So you can see, I've got right now, I can bring five guys into the battle, but I can also bring six. But if I bring only five, I get two times meat rewards at the end of the battle. Oh, nice! And I can get two times oh, crew rewards, <laughs> two times <laughs> Risk power rewards. rewards. Exactly. We got those this. interesting we got decisions. This. Yeah, I'll go in just <laughs> me and Joe. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, what well, was that three times? Yeah, just do Angry Joe and Other Joe. Yeah, just well, do us. We're, we're gonna, gonna die. We're gonna die. Let's, Why let's, do I have three health? Because <laughs> you're a sniper. Oh let's, shoot, let's, that that ain't me. Oh, that's probably not a good class to start Come with. Come on, that's totally me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put Lance back. To the lands. Sure. Let's see. Let's. Uh, so you want to be a shotgun guy, yeah, a trencher? Yeah. Give me, give me that guy, or let's, somebody that's got some. Let's just do so, Yeah. Yeah, look, the the intense look in my eyes. Yeah. That's yeah. I you just don't somehow that lost my hair <laughs> and became an avatar, uh, air, an airbender. <laughs> All right, so let's go in with just frontliner, three times bonus. and a trencher. Pressure's on here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna die! But I okay. want to die. I want to see the death animation. <laughs> oh, so let's see. I didn't spend any. I can't do my nuke yet. So all right, we're going in. Let's go through grotesque. Grotesque. Start with mutants. I like starting with a mutant territory because I I think it's a I I found like it's one of the best ways to level up my crew. Okay, so you got like a little story every time you go into a new area. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's and, cool. and so there's different border crossings, road POIs. That oh, you this is gonna be such POIs. a good game to stream. Like we can we can name people in our chat and. But wait, so wait cool. until you start hey, seeing guys it. melting with puke. So we threw this in just for the Gamescom demo, and this was, you know, it's just throwing you straight to bat, right yeah. off the bat. Okay. Because whenever we went to E3, some guys, they'd make it halfway down the map and die before even getting into combat. It's yeah. like, oh, that's not fun. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's shoot some people. That's right. So we got John's making little combo work pieces for all these guys. Oh, that's and cool. So now, here you can put together your team. We've mm -hmm. already put together our team, and we're going to risk it all. <laughs> From a death. So, <laughs> just just really a little reminder. No. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. Pressure's on for me. I've got one equalizer I can use. So you can see these little resources on the battlefield. So you don't get anything uh -huh. if you don't pick any of these up. Okay. So these are what, what I always call danger carrots. So they're they're things that are good for you, but you're just gonna get into trouble going for them. So yeah. we got our meat, we got our crew, we got our power cells. We got this little guy right here, which is a booby trap. Mm -hmm. So he'll either give double reward, or it'll blow up and do six <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sneaky. Other joke, uh, you have more health, so that'll be what you're going for. <laughs> but of course. And so we got cover down here. You can take cover. You can click on each of, each of the enemy guys and kind of see their movement range mm -hmm. and their little attack range, these little things on the ground. And so each class is going to be different. You can see this guy can move a lot, and those little targets on the ground are all the squares that you can hit from that certain position. Gotcha. Same thing with this guy. I can do whatever. So let's get us some crude. Get that oil to run our rig. Our we'll, not, we'll not gamble quite yet. We'll gamble in a little bit. All right. Oh, straight for me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. So you can attack him. So I'm going to go ahead, and the trencher deals knockback. So you kind of want to use, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to use my guy to block this guy from being knocked back. Ooh, blast for one, blast her yeah, for one. Yeah, because otherwise it would have knocked him back, which yeah. would have pushed him out of the range of the, of the shotgun guy. But because that dude's there, you can kind of avoid the push. Nice. And so unlike most turn-based strategy games like this where you have a turn order and you've got this whole of your team moves and then their team moves, yeah. we're doing two action points per turn. Ah. So you can move and you can move and move. You can move and shoot. You can shoot and shoot. Ah, that's just like a board game. Any yeah. guns yeah. exactly. Baller. So you can go totally like Rambo with your guy if you want. It's not a forced t turn order, mm -hmm. you know. Like so, if you just want like my, you know, like uh, you know my my shotgun guy, I just I, it's going to be all Ooh. him, and Ooh, my okay. other guy's just going to be support or a meat shield. Then yeah. you can kind of play that way. So who, and what's this blitzometer up top with the red? So the blitzometer, that's. So the longer you take to kill the guys, the longer it's in battle, this meter will start filling up. Once uh -huh. it gets full, the enemy AI will do something very mean to you. <laughs> yeah, kind of uh, unexpected. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. 
We'll yeah. just, we'll just, yeah. So we'll, let's let's go ahead and level up Angry Joe. We're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, <laughs> with that <laughs> uppercut. Uppercut. Yeah. Yes. It's because he has a shotgun. He he oh shit! Look at that as smart as AI is about to blow up Joe. Run! So at the end of this turn, that grenade is gonna blow up. Run! So I move. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take you a chance. You use your turns. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the bar. Oh yeah, that's right. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go for some meat. Let's go I can some grab some power cells too. I think we can survive this. Ooh, there you go. Okay. Now we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and activate shields on this. So now my guys will only take one damage. But if I stay there, he's gonna get hit. So I'm gonna run into cover. Oh, I should have ran up there. To get so now. We got our one. Oh, we got three different. Oh, Excellent. shit. Excellent. Okay, I'll Excellent. save you, Joe. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Ugh. Joe, run! Oh, no! 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 You know purpose. Purity Weekly. We drive to the first city of the house. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Shit. We might not survive. I'm gonna go We might not survive. Come on. No! Calling you a weekly. Shit. Well, that's what we get for gambling. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Dude, based on that alone, like, I'm already ready to fucking play. That's cool shit. Now, why did our, uh, uh, if you look there, 920, we only have, did 80 people leave? Because they were like, yes. these badasses, these we guys, on the, they don't know yeah. what the hell they're doing. <laughs> I don't trust them anymore, man. That was that, that sort of news reporter that came up at the end. He's like, yeah. wow, that was a horrible result. <laughs> Nobody has confidence. And then 40 it's people, like, leaders. decided to, or 80 people decided to take off. Yeah, they're like, fuck this. We okay, have. so let's see. I'll let one of you guys. Has answered this one. So reports of illness among your passengers have been a good, hey, they've been a, exhibiting alarming condition that rapidly covers their bodies with a strange purple fungus. Okay. So what are we gonna do with these people? Leave them dead. <laughs> yeah, that's, one. that's what they're doing. No, I am superseding that. And you know. I am going to try to quarantine the passengers of the joke. Alright, let's see what happens. The infected passengers are isolated in another section of the dozer, and are sealed as best as possible while your technicians research possible cures. However, many other passengers are agitated about being in such close proximity to the it. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> they refuse to travel <laughs> on board and insist they would rather take their chances in Bidlin. Damn it! <laughs> the dozer stops briefly to allow them to take off. Oh, shit! You were, right, Joe, you were right, Joe. You were right. As always. <laughs> and so now we have a choice of like either traveling on, going to another territory. Oh, or it's not just this. one thing in each. It's, there's multiple areas in a single um, uh, right. territory. That's so cool. you can see these these roads take a lot more days to get there, a lot more resources, but these little things on the side are you Ooh. basically sending out your away team to go explore these places. Like, okay. Kind of like Star Trek, Kirk and Bones beating oh, down to the planet. so cool you guys have that in there. So, uh, but that happens automatically, right? Not, it's not, you don't take control of those battles. Oh shit, that's <laughs> <a> cool <laughs> you, you might actually recognize the vehicle yeah. it, based on like some of the stuff you're interested in mm, too. Oh so. yeah, <laughs> that looks like an APC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, from the Colonial Marines. As the crew wanders the bizarre surroundings, their attention is drawn by the sound of groaning beasts and gushing fluid. Following the noises to a nearby ridge, they encounter an encampment of mutants. There are huge pulsating creatures standing in the pools of black. This is crazy. The mutants appear to be using these strange beasts as a way to refine crude. All right, Other Joe, you were right last time, so I'm going to leave this decision. Attack! Attack! <laughs> Looks like a heap of morts here with the thirst for the juice. They be paying in fresh blood. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, so who should we take in? Well, uh, we're, dead. we're dead, so we don't care. <laughs> no, uh, well, we'll take in. Give, give, give us two gunslingers and uh, a big old health guy, a front liner. That's good. The three X bonus is always a little tricky. Yes. You just never know. It's yeah. always a little tough with it. And you know what? Let's let's put another one in here because we learned our lesson. So whatever you'd like, a sniper. Let's, yes. let's bring this in, sniper. 
All also, right. because because in, in the story you heard that it was a crude field, mm -hmm. there's probably going to be more crude than power cells. So okay. you can be like the two x power cells may not be as important. You know what I mean? But yeah. you definitely want the two x crude. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and drag. Your oh, you can zoom in and out. Yeah. I was going to ask you that. That's awesome. That's so cool. Okay. Because I was like, dang it, man! I, I love to be able to zoom in and check out the detail in the art. This yeah. environment is just so creative and. Awesome. Well, the mutants are, they're kind of like terraformers, mm -hmm. you know, so like mutants, you know, a lot of times that you kind of have different, different takes on, on post-apocalyptic mutants, but they're almost usually like zombies mm -hmm. and, and uh, Sam and I really wanted to make them more like something like, new. Yeah. Man, something kind so of fresh. Cool. And so we kind of took this, this, this thing, like they're like the, the natural response to like radiation and toxicity and they're actually really highly evolved. Yeah. So it's like they're 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 doing just fine in Bethlehem. They love it. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I'm so gonna name a character Angry Joe with double pistol. <laughs> Little skeleton on the top because he blew away all his flesh. Yeah, I like animation. Yeah. All right. Let's see. And so I'm we right. only got one guy left, and so the the mutants every turn they gain one health. Yeah. And so, so if you don't take is, them out, what okay. are these numbers above his heart? You got a two and another two. So uh, uh, this two is how much damage this guy can do to him the on the next two? turn. The other two is how much damage he would do back do to back. him. Okay. And then the four is his health. Uh -huh. And so, so like you can yeah. see this now, guy, do, if I moved him here, yeah. you can see I would do three damage to him on his four health. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, in addition to attack, are there any special abilities that we can execute from our characters? Or the special abilities are coming from the uh, Blitzometer? Uh, the, the, for our characters, the special abilities will be coming from our weapons and our equalizers. So this is equalizers. We, that's right. Okay. So if we had enough power cells, we could nuke these guys. But uh -huh. usually, I say that until the end of the game when you're fighting like 14 guys at once, yeah, and right. it's just like chaos. Okay. And then the equalizers, there's stuff like invisibility, teleportation, healing, uh -huh. double damage, quad damage. Very cool. Uh, we got we we just put in clones. So you actually create a hologram clone of your guy. So but none of the abilities are based on the character itself. It's no. you're, you're bringing it from your uh, inventories. Right, because okay. we wanted to keep the, the actual pieces on the battlefield simple. We mm -hmm. wanted them to be, yes. this is what they Simplicity do, this is what they are. Yeah. Um, but if you get two kills with one character, they'll actually level up on the battlefield mm -hmm. to a veteran status. They'll get, they'll get more health, more damage. And Does that carry armor. over into future battles? Yep, or is that just yep. It's, it's persistent after that. So right. let's see. Let's... If we could level up one guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some crude with our gunslinger. Pretend for that. Yeah, you probably want to get the other gunslinger to finish him off. Maybe that other gunslinger might level up since it killed one already. I think we lost everybody. Oh wait, yes, yes. Sweet, here we go. See, I know what I'm doing already. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't use that guy. Use the Next time, we're just gonna bring bigger guns. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Cool. All right. Does so, armor change? Yep. Okay, yeah. So yeah. now we can actually go back mm -hmm. to our dozer and check her out. Uh, wait, where was she? That was close. Oh, so that's how yeah. you can get oh. new uniforms and stuff. Is just them upgrade or them uh, going to veteran status. Yeah. Right. Okay, sweet. Right. And we, we keep track of everybody's kills. Uh, looks like oh, our yeah. days is currently broken. But How many battles you've been in. Exactly. Okay. It looks like that one might be broken right now as well. And you can see right now, she is injured for 30 days. And so... Oh, it's just like an XCOM type yeah. system. And so she's going to... You can still bring her into battle. Uh -huh. She's just going to have less health. Any but way to speed that process up? or The way to speed that up is to go back to our barracks and improve our heal rate. Um, but we don't have many power cells, so I'm not going to yeah. do that right now. But yeah, now we now we got our badass veteran on board. It's freaking awesome. And so that's that's our second stop so far. <laughs> <laughs> so the ultimate so, goal is to get to Aztec City at yeah. the bottom. Yeah. And then what? Uh, well, what happens when you get to Aztec City? <laughs> well, don't spoil it. Well, <laughs> well, don't do no, no spoilers. <laughs> and, yes, but there's, What's this that's guy? A, Vomiting on on the right here. He's, oh no, he's blowing wind. Yeah. That's uh. These are all like the, yeah. You got like a little Cthulhu thing over here. And okay, so. that's exciting. <laughs> I don't think you have a Cthulhu in the game because that's in the water. But uh, do you have like monsters or or that's one thing that you guys should probably add if you don't yeah, have it. I'm talking like. 
things that aren't hu uh, humanoid based that you run into and you can fight on the battlefield. We've, we've been talking about that a lot, and that was one of the original things we wanted to put in. Like, we've got, you know, these dimensional rifts that happen. You're fighting oh, these, these man, crazy, crazy monsters and characters, or like, uh, you know, none of this is going into <laughs> the game right now. We're, we're just... Yeah, yeah. But, no, but we yeah, wanna, you gotta start yeah, somewhere, yeah. obviously. And we want to so. keep adding to it. Like, if, yeah. if, if this does well, we want to just keep putting stuff in the game, because it's a roguelike. You can yeah. do that. You can just keep putting more cards into the deck, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's, it should be that simple. And this seems perfect as well for uh, mobile uh, as well. Are you? Is this going to be mobile, or is it just going to be PC, Steam only? Well, the Bannersog engine, they, they've already done their iOS ports. They're on the, since we're using right. the same engine, it should make it fairly easier. Yeah, I mean, easy. it's still going to take some time to get it done. Yeah. We yeah. might have to change a little bit of the things in the UI, but yeah, we're, we've definitely been thinking about that, because okay. once FDL came out on the iPad, I played that for another yeah. 200 out it's like it's yeah. injected some more life into it uh, yeah so our, you know what we hope to do with this is that we want to continually add stuff to the game so the world feels like it's always changing so even if you beat the game mm -hmm. you know in the first like you know a few weeks that it comes out that like you know when as time goes on we keep adding new content pa oh, yeah. packs to it new so there's like what we have are uh, basically these these characters called dukes, which are uh, our backers, or dukes of bedlam, mm -hmm. and so there's they're kind of like these new. Damn war it! Why didn't I know about this <laughs> back then? I would have <laughs> became a duke. They're, they're these new warlords that kind of come to power, and they, they and they're different. You know, they represent different factions, and so like you know, like we have a whole thing that we want to do with the cyborgs because they're actually going to get more powerful as the game as yeah. the game is out there. So that's now, the why the hell would one? And I guess it's just because if you want to explore and you want to set your own difficulty, why wouldn't I just take the shortest path to the Aztec City every well, single time? It looks shorter, but it actually, it's the, the, the way the map is, you oh, know, it's, it's like it's, secret. There's, there's it, paths. It's this, it looks... Yeah, the, the paths are always a little bit windy, and so mm. it's it's never as easy as you think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was a little mean whenever I. Yeah. Said it's like I'm just gonna go there, but you're like, there's no road. But then it goes back up. Yeah. Here, it goes back then, up, yeah. and you're like, I'm going Sneaky. the wrong way. But once you find the optimal path, the players it might memorize it. Of course, my memory is shit, so I'll never be able to memorize. <laughs> well, you know the, the thing, yeah, the, the, and that sort of gets into the the basically. You, you, there's definitely there's something that happens in Aztec City mm -hmm. and it, there's a good reason why you may want to spend a little bit longer in the world right right you gotta <laughs> because you gotta prepare for the yeah. final battle obviously you know that's how I would be playing it I'm sure there's some sort of final I can't account. wait till he gets to Aztec oh. City because because it's just gonna it's gonna blow, it's, I, so what are yeah. these things here at the bottom you got low guarded elevated severe and then a, 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 an indicator called bedlam so this is our threat level so yeah. as as we spend, so we're at 16 days in the world right now so we've reached this this low threat level and uh, so some stuff has started spawning in the world we got a radiation storm over here and back behind us is a elite character we're actually gonna backtrack an elite character yes and we are going to go fight this guy sweet running out of stuff but King Viscera said you scuzzers would be a challenge ha crowbar man is gonna pound you little babu oh wait but noobs but noobs <laughs> <laughs> with the man masher <laughs> time to make paste All right. I think Benoobs is now our new favorite like lo local team, team word. A bunch of Benoobs. Yeah, a bunch of Benoobs. Yeah, Freaking Benoob. All right, yeah, I'm bringing one more character in because this might be tough. You can run into these special characters. Ah, that's oh, crazy. So this, huge. This huge guy has got 14 health. He's got a huge range with his giant hammer. Yeah. we got this poor little sniper right there. Can you veteran anybody? Now, how are you looking to make a person veteran? Is it a one on the skull? Yeah, yeah. It's so that's basically that's the, two kills. Yeah. yeah so so it's two after. kills for the first level. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some sniper action going on. Ooh, nice! <laughs> he got stiff. <laughs> Probably shit his pants, dude. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. We can do four there. Oh, well, that's a good we can one. Do four there. You could shield. You could, do, could shield. hit him twice with a sniper and shield. Yeah, because we want that kill. The nice thing about the equalizer is uh, I don't have enough. Oh. Someone's gonna die. Somebody's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh nice. <laughs> that guy just better. <laughs> Unexpected. So now here's the cool thing. 
Mark of shame, King Viscera will pull Crowbar Mane's head off his neck for the failure. If you take me into your machine, I pulverize any lungs you tell me to. You got Crowbar Mane's pledge. All right, so sweet. Now, now he's on our side. We gotta check out our guys. And now we got Whoa. Homeboy. We're gonna go ahead and bring him in. Now he's got a gold border because he's an elite. Because yeah. he's an elite, just no. to let you know. And you can see the veterans, they get like a little, um, you know, red sash and, and yeah. silver kind of. Can you rename the elites? Yeah, what do you want to call them? Angry Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Angrier Joe. <laughs> Angrier, Angrier Joe. Joe, yeah. <laughs> oh, we can't. Just get rid of this face. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's time let's... to smash some banoobs. Some banoobs. Alright, let's do one more. Alright. One more battle. Let's see. Let's go exploring because I don't think we're gonna have enough resources to back up. <laughs> if we would have gone forward, we could have gotten that power cells, improved our rooms, and gotten a little bit more life out of this. Oh, I don't know. We're not trying to make it to Aztec <laughs> City. We're just we're just kinda of, you know, checking out the game. Oh uh, yeah, let's talk to this guy. He's crazy. Cryptonautic prophecies. Strange device, we got a tuning fork. Sweet. And so these are little cargo items that you can get. Some of them are related to certain quests that'll start spawning in the world after you get these items. Mm -hmm. uh, certain characters might be looking for a certain item to join your dozer if you have these things. Some of them cool. will also give you bonuses, like full on bonuses, like you know, better crude recovery, better meat. You know, power cells, mm -hmm. everything. So that's a pretty good one. And you also get special options for some things, like um, you know, so you may run into an event, and if you have a certain cargo item mm -hmm. during that event, it's like you'll get a special option, which oh, you, only, only, you only get if you have that item. There's just one more little card going yeah, into the deck cool. every yeah. single time. I like that. Let's let's go let's go fight with our heavy hitter. So now we're we're in guarded. So like you know you'll see there's more dudes on the, there's I think there's probably like one or two more guys that you'll have to that you're fighting fighting. But when you get up to bedlam, you'll, you'll just be like, what the heck? That's I what, can't that, that, fight them all. Well, that's when you, the the weapons really come into play. Like you need the nukes. Um, yeah. And you know that's because it is unbalanced uh, or not unbalanced, but the odds are against odds you. Odds are definitely and that's, against that's you. That's why they're yeah. called equalizers and. Uh, and them new it's it's interesting though. I mean, I've I've played it where I've had like two veterans against like a, like a fleet of dudes, and if it just really depends on how the battlefield lays out. But sometimes you, you, you can do it with, uh, you know, you can do it with. It's surprising. Like yeah. I was like, wow, I killed like a whole you know, like ten guys with my two dudes. Yeah. That's... So these these marauders been stepping on this this platform mm -hmm. every time they stomp on the surface. Fizzle resonates, and again. Their bodies transform to a quivering jumble of meat before oh, blinking out of shit. existence. They've created a teleporter pad, or are they killing themselves? <laughs> it looks like they're killing themselves with the teleporter pad. But they think it's funny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not designed to transport organic material, hence the hideous meat mouth. So we can install this teleporter. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's do that. Body displacer has been installed. All right, come on, battle! Come on, battle! Hopefully, we don't. Um, you know, hopefully that guy knows how to correct it so that we don't become meat mouths. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Well, looks like we just got some supplies out of this. So, once you start running out of resources, you can see here we're not going to have enough to make it to this next. Ah, that's Spot. right. So you got to be super careful. Okay. Well, we're screwed. Uh, go, go up. Well, if you go there, there's not enough. Ah, you do not have enough. The dozer is powerless. Perhaps someone will come to your aid. Perhaps it will be something worse. Do we have to take out a loan? <laughs> <laughs> More so loans. This used to be the SOS screen, but recently our programmer changed it to the SOL screen. Shit out of luck. <laughs> so now this is basically a Russian roulette. Uh huh. Let's see what we got. What do we get? The, uh, the dozer is emotionally at the casino where the wanderer approaches. You disembark to meet him, a lone wanderer. Greetings! You have a predicament, it seems. 
fateful are crossing paths then, as I have a solution. An ancient fusion technology that can replicate any fuel source. I'll grant it to you in exchange for passage. Alright, worn metallic canister. Immediately after unsealing it, though, you realize you may have made a disastrous <laughs> error in judgment. Right! Ha! Ha ha! You have unleashed Bishop Velasco's malady! The most horrific bioweapon from the Crusade of 80 Plagues! May his will be done! <laughs> The Dozer's interior is suddenly filled with a noxious cloud, noxious cloud that immediately infects all passengers and crew. They are seized with the and life, <laughs> expelling their organs from their mouths. Oh, yeah. Jesus, the lifeless husk of the Dozer is left to eventually be reclaimed by the unpredictable realm of Bedlam. <laughs> that was awesome guys seriously i am super excited uh, to get my hands on this and play it seems perfect for streaming especially See? if uh if personalities want to play it with their chat and name characters and because it's relatively quick you can either die real quick or you can yeah. if you're doing if you're Considering everything, you, you might make the game longer. Um, you'll be able to play multiple times and get a lot more people involved in in the chat. That's awesome. Yeah, my last good run lasted a little bit more than two hours. I had yeah. 260 kills at the end of it. Mm -hmm. No, 160 kills, 200... No. Oh, I'd have to look it up. But it, was, <laughs> it was a lot. I was, I was so we like... sucked, so we got Rookie Mechanic is our rating, right? That's yes. a lower score, I yes. assume. So uh, we won two out of our three battles, or yep, uh, I thought six. we won all of our battles. No, remember me? Oh you right, I died. Angry Joe, another Joe. Okay. Original Joe. That's cool. That's what. Yeah, <laughs> you forgot about original. I Joe. He yeah, doesn't about count. Original Joe. <laughs> that was uh, a warm up round. POIs, warm person Joe. of interest, I guess. Person of interest. Uh, points of interest. Oh, points oh. of interest. Okay. All right. Sweet. And that's the that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, thanks, it's, game. It, it's uh, you know you can you know, I mean it's really one of those games you know if you played like FTL or, or something like oh, that yeah, it's yeah, sort yeah. of like multiple runs you know you get you get, you know it, it's uh, you know I think Sam mentioned that he, his run down to Aztec City took about two hours that's about what mine took the other day uh -huh. and you know of course and you won. No. Oh, you, you died. Oh, no, yes, I died. Now I'm, I'm wondering. See, there's a badass uh, dozer right there. Do you upgrade in the middle of the campaign, or you unlock them for use in future? Yeah, it's uh, in your runs. next game. Yeah. So oh, okay. if you actually okay. unlocked it and you were like, "Eh, my game's not going that well," new run, you yeah, would be able then to you can start it off. Start from the beginning with it. That's cool. So we can actually go have a little bit of fun with our Marauder Dozer. And we could go easy, because I made it to Aztec City on an easy game. We've, we've kitted this one out of the <laughs> right, Well, let's, let's just go check it out. So, we've got our electric guillotine. We didn't get to see the nuke, but this one's, mm -hmm. this one's pretty fun. Um, we got shields, we've got invisibility, and we've got our teleporter. So we'll be able to see the places. teleporter on this one. Uh -huh. And we've got crowbars back. Nice. And we've got his twin brother, Scragger. Scragger. Who is a trencher, and he's got a gigantic gun in game. Let's let's go get in the fight. Just check these guys out. And the mutant dozer, he's actually equipped with uh, Chunderock, who is our, our puke monster, is what he was nicknamed during the Kickstarter. Yeah. He's this giant lizard monster thing with crab claws and he pukes green vomit on everybody and they melt into a pile of skeletons. And he's a good guy or bad guy? Whoa. Well, all of these big guys are bad guys whenever you face them, but mm -hmm. if you beat them, they'll join they you on your dose. Join, yeah. So they're kind of like the Pokemons in the game. Nice. Uh, yeah. And, you know, the thing about each of them, they all Let still... Let me show you that. <laughs> They all still fall into the same classes. So there's four. There's only four classes. So even the puke monster is a trencher, meaning mm -hmm. he's, he's he's like an up close, like basically like a shotgun guy. Yeah. Um, so only four classes. Well, I guess I guess that's all you need. That, At least right here in this the, the the this initial crowbar and Scragger. All right. So we're gonna. He's got a badass freaking gun. Scragger's Scragger's pretty awesome. Uh oh, I can't get it. I'm not going to try letting those guys. Okay. Yes, bring it. 
Boom! He stood no chance. No <laughs> chance. Oh no! So grenade! Oh, oh you got a, out of that. A, you can a, get out of that. Somebody's taking that grenade. Yeah, I'm gonna let him take that grenade because homeboy's gonna get shot. Oh! Oh, another grenade? Another. Oh, shit. Oh. What's in the box? <laughs> get you out of the way. Open the box! Get you out of the way. All right. Because if we. Oh, jeez. Oh my this god, is that his third yeah. grenade? His fourth oh, grenade. She is. So you put this on this easy, guy. right? Yes, I put this on <laughs> easy. This is our first battle. Alright, let's run away. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. Now let's. let's what see what's what's in the box? What's in the box? Yeah, I can, I can take it. Oh, the meat! Alright. Not explosion. <laughs> Jesus, she is angry with the grenades because she knows what's gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Choke on him. We'll murderize you later. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> when is it coming out? Uh, we're in for September. I think we're shooting. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> you needed to release in August. <laughs> There's like nothing in August right now. There's we wanted like, to. We oh wanted to. God, you yeah. like, we were, like we, were, right we were aiming for June, and then we were aiming for July, and then we were aiming for August, and now there's no choice but to release in September. <laughs> you're fucked, man. Yeah. But, but you're, you're more fucked than you would have been in August, because you know there's nothing. Yeah, there's and nothing. in yeah. September, it's going to be... You yeah. got Mad Max, you got fucking Metal Gear, you got fucking all these... Other, but that's right at the beginning, maybe there's some yeah, space... We're, and, we're coming and, out, the, I think, the week after Mad Max. Yeah. Okay. Well, was, the DVD was coming out that week as well. Yeah. That That's a bummer. But maybe it'll give a boost, right? Yeah. That's, Cause, that, cause that was, a, we basically in are genre. in between Mad Max and Fallout, you know? Yeah, like, well, so. I'm definitely playing on stream and, and, and spread the word about it. And it looks cool and uh yeah, It'll be a lot awesome. cheaper than those other games, too. It's true. <laughs> that's true. How much is it? Uh, what did we it's just... $19.99. $19.99? Yeah. And, and you guys are from Austin, which is... Yeah. The same city I'm from. <laughs> yeah. The best city. Got to support my, my local developers. Represent. All right, sweet. Thank you guys so much well, thank for you, Joe. coming over yeah. and, and showing me us. the game. It seems like my kind of game. Love the art style. Love the mechanics. I'm a huge board gamer, so this yeah. fits uh, it perfectly. The fact that I can rename my guys and play it along with chat and create these dynamic storylines that chat will then, you know, remember and yeah. bring up and stuff. It's, yeah. it's, it's It seems like a really, really fun game. And it's got, it, it, it seems like it could be also a good mobile game, too, so you can fart around, uh, you know, when you're on flights. That's, and That's what we're open like, for, Eventually, yeah. right, because it's I not, not, it not at release, but maybe down along yeah. the yeah. line. Yeah. You know, and then you said you want to continue to expand on it, you know, if it does well. And, and we and want to keep adding wanna... stuff to it. Like, there's yeah. so much stuff that we didn't get in to the game right now that yeah. hopefully, like, we can just, just keep, okay, here's this, here's this, here's here's some new characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Dukes have now taken over Bedlam. And, and just... how, how is that going to work? Is that, are you guys doing a combination of uh, free updates and paid updates? Or are you doing DLC? What... Our goal is that, really our, our goal, yeah, we haven't really decided yet. I mean, our goal is always to, like, we always want to just make the game more fun and, mm -hmm. let, you know, like, give, give it away if we can as free updates. Um, yeah. You know, I think uh, what we saw with FTL was really cool where they, they basically, you know, when they did the advanced edition on on uh, on iOS, all that stuff just went back to the PC, you mm -hmm. know, like for free. You oh, know? yeah. So if you had bought right. the game on PC... You got all that content, that new content that went yeah, to, to yeah, iOS. Edition. So you know that's kind of like you know that's what we're looking at. You know, of course, it, it really does depend. We're a small studio. We're three three developers and three guys. And, yeah, with three oh, guys. Wow. With, with well, some friends. Yeah, three guys. I got two of them here showing me the game. That's <laughs> yeah. freaking awesome. Yeah. So, what does the uh, their third guy do? Uh, he's the programmer. And so programmer. so uh, Jeff Johnson, that's his name. He's old mm -hmm. school midway guy. He was on NFL Blitz and NBA oh, Showtime. Oh, we this. We would come home after school, play that. That's awesome. That's cool. What, so he's a you, you can you can put his initials in one of those games and like it's big head Jeff yeah, big shows head. up and oh, yeah it's pretty cool. awesome I, that might have just been the arcade I don't remember exactly mm -hmm. yeah so there was basically it was the three of us started the company and then we have a, a my friend Dave who's doing all the writing mm -hmm. is uh, he I mean he's really our you know 
uh, uh, and then there's uh, our, our our audio guy um, Clark. Clark, and then our sound uh, our the, the guy who's doing all our music is Kevin Reeple, who did all the music for Gears of War, who uh, I worked oh, with when I was at Epic back in the day. Awesome. So, um, you know, so we got some really you know great uh, you know some some vets working on this, and it's uh, yeah, this is really impressive cool. for three people. I love the game, and I can't wait to to play it, man. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys so yeah, much. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Totally. Thank Th you. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you.